friends welcome back i am agam and you are in my channel agam tech tricks today i'll show you how to make your wsl distro shell like for example we have ubuntu like in ubuntu we have bash by default and mostly all distros are bash only by default so here yeah, for example this is my wsl which i had installed here so basically we have bash by default here so now today i'll show you how to make your shell this one look more beautiful and like uh, with more plugins and many things so there's this framework called oh my zsh so what it is basically there's a shell called zsh just like bash and alternative to bash so like this uh there's this framework called oh my zsh which uh adds themes and many more plugins etc in our zsh uh, configuration file for example here it's written like plugins and many more themes etc so here today i'll show you how to install that in wsl and yes this mostly works with many distros so like uh just you need to install first zsh for example if you have arc also uh, with zsh or etc like uh, in wsl etc so you can install first of all we have to install zsh normally just like on ubuntu this is apt install zsh and then enter your password so this is already installed by wsl distro you can uh, see my videos below like i'll link you in the description to how to set up zsh like how to set up any wsl distro etc so i am in ubuntu and here we have installed the shell so what we have to do is just don't close this and here in the website i link you both in the description the github repo and this just click oh, install oh my zsh then there are two methods we are w get we are curl like basically i'll go with this one and copy this and then paste here now it is saying do you want to change your default shell so i'll just going to, uh, go to change because uh if we are switching to zsh then we'll of course just change it or otherwise it's your wish i'll just select yes then enter your user password and here we are on zsh with a default theme robin cell like which comes with zsh so if you exit currently it will show in bash and just click exit again like type and then again you can open your distro to see the changes and if still it doesn't uh, change the shell so what you can do is just uh, shut down the wsl with this command wsl minus shutdown and then uh, open your distro here i am on windows terminal uh, like you can use any whatever you want here. after shutting down it takes and here we are on wsl now uh, zsh on wsl now i'll show you how to make it look attractive like so many themes etc so basically they have a uh, lots of themes with them by default and we have uh, external themes also like by default they have these themes this is the default theme that comes so basically uh, these are the themes i'll just link you in the description and i'll show you some like i'll apply two three so for example i'll just go with okay this one and just what you have to do is just copy this and open the zshrc file like for example i'll use nano editor for this dot zshrc it will be near home like home directory and here we have this uh, by default theme zsh theme also one more thing like uh, these all the themes if you like uh, start the shell and you want a random theme to pick up every time like whenever you open your shell or open your whatever terminal so it will just load a random theme like we have all these here it will just select a random theme from here so here i'll uh, just show you this one which we just did here dulzj whatever so just save it and exit control x here it won't immediately take effects so you have to just exit and open it again the shell and where we have this theme like this so we can change many themes also these are just default themes we have other more themes also 
I'll just show you here external theme so basically these are the default ones and uh, currently they are don't adding more themes because they are more than enough for the default ones so external themes list also have a cool themes like for example this passion one so basically like uh, this is a default with the zsh themes like uh, we normally apply so we have to just install it like go to the repo here and just you can use whatever so i'll just link i'll link you this also in description and today uh, i like this is also my favorite theme and many people's also there's a theme called power level 10k but i'll show you this one there's this theme and this looks like very cool so i'll just show you this apply this and like this is the default one for example so i'll apply show you this and this like you can install any plugins etc also first i'll install this thing so first of all uh, it's better like we have to install the recommended font which they have given and here we have this uh, meslo nerd font patch for power level 10k like it has all the icons etc so just download these four and uh, right click all and install like we normally do i'll just show i have already down it downloaded so basically here these four wait a second here these four we have and you can just select all show more options and install or like open one again here i have already it installed so here now it's done now it's installed all the fonts now what we have to do go to our powershell settings like not the powershell windows terminal settings and here in the profiles ubuntu and then like normally we have this appearance advanced many times so in the appearance go to here and in change the font name to meslo gs nf nf so like basically the default uh, will be uh, cascadia code or mono uh, but i had like uh, used this ubuntu profile before so it's here selected uh, but you have to install uh, select this font and color scheme depends on you and i even have this acrylic enabled so this looks like little more good or you can just select custom background and many things it's your wish the main thing is just the font that's the main thing for the shell now what we have to do here we are in the shell and what we have to do now install power level 10k so basically here installation and as we are in uh, oh my zsh just we'll copy this command like basically it clones the uh, theme and paste it here now what we have to do change the theme also like uh, i showed you like we selected the default themes one of the again go to our zshrc file and here in zsh theme just go down with arrow keys just and paste this power level 10k this one like this or you can just remove full line and paste it's your wish again now again save it and exit and now exit this make sure i have selected the font now we'll open the shell again going to ubuntu here comes this uh configuration wizard so like if you have that font selected uh these icons you have to click yes and like accordingly if it shows and if it doesn't show then uh install the font like select it i cause it's showing like looks like a lock of course yes and again debian logo and here all these are fitting inside the crosses so i'll just click yes now comes the prompt style it all depends on you whatever style of prompt like i'll go with the colorful one rainbow so just type three and then comes this style the unicode or asi this sci i'll go with unicode again all depends on you bar format and here this separator it is again our wish round etc whatever and then sharp here it depends again i'll go with round and here also i'll go with round depends on you and then next is one line or two liner so i'll just go with two liner and here again prompt connection so 
and then this uh, frame on both sides or one side or single side or no frame etc so just i'll go with full and then the connection and frame color i'll go with light and then everything you can just do like these are the icons which are in the font and that's needed for it many icons fluent no and then here now this is something that uh like basically i'll show you here like if you have many plugins selected or whatever so uh, first of all the uh, zsh will be loaded and then uh, it can remove the startup lag and uh, after it will automatically keep loading plugins in the background so if you have uh, like you can read this etc everything so i'll just choose with the quiet one or verbose or it or always depends on you i'll just uh, go with the quiet and then uh, it is asking apply changes now uh, uh, we can click yes or if you want to restart anything like do again configuration click r or so i'll click it here we have now we are on this uh, power level 10k theme now and if you want to configure again just write p10k configure like basically here so now you can exit and then again open the shell now it's all your wish just for changing the effects and here like this uh, we have installed this cell and i'll just show you new fetch ones here so basically i'll show the new fetch now here is our burn to like new fetch and here we have this shell zsh 5.8 and like this we can install now coming to the plugins We'll just go to the ZSH repo here and then go to the plugins like they have a uh, this. There are so many plugins we can choose and here is the plugins directory or the wiki. Like it all depends on us. I'll show in the wiki uh, for example like here. Uh, now uh, these are all the plugins whatever you want like for docker for gate and for adb and whatnot. There are many, many, many plugins here in VS Code and it's executable available. So whatever we can do like aliases, commands and many more things. So now how to apply a plugin? For example, I'll um, choose apt plugin. There was one. Mm. Here, Ubuntu. Here for apt etc everything so now how to apply a plugin we have to uh, again open the zshrc file and here in we have plugins going down plugins and uh, like adding more plugins will make your shell more slower like by loading but if you are like on power level 10k and you chose the quiet one so it will load like etc etc now how to add plugins just give a space and add whatever plugins you want for example vs code etc i'll just go with the ubuntu one get an ubuntu and just exit it again close and open the shell here we are on zsh now here run sudo uh, run apt get with sudo for example i'll type age add here at everything it's just now agc will clean everything and like everything is all all packages basically it makes it easier to like ex uh, like uh, remembering the commands etc etc so basically and this is how uh, you can have a uh, make your shell look more beautiful and like with more useful plugins etc and i'll just link i'll link you everything in the description you can just go on and then find the plugins and themes whatever you like and power level 10k is not the only one we have theme here this is power level 10k we have to keep it I guess it's closed.
here. So it's not only the power level 10k plugin. I'll link you this also, the theme. There are many external themes like more beautiful ones like these. So basically there are many, many, many uh, themes and plugins and whatnot. So thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm.